So about a year ago, I bought the Tackstar SGC598 shotgun microphone, which is the predecessor to this SGC600. And to be straight up with you, after about a year of using that microphone, I can tell you, not only was it as good as the shotgun microphones from Rode and from Deity and other microphones that cost 10 times as much, but to my ears, it sounded better. I wouldn't have even thought about replacing that microphone, but unfortunately, it's not waterproof. And I was out there doing some filming and stuff, and all of a sudden it started to rain. And that's pretty much all she wrote. And even after that, the microphone still works. But the thing is, is when I plug it in, it'll be working normal. And then out of nowhere, it'll start making a crazy high pitched screaming sound that totally messes up my audio. I don't know if you've seen them videos with them screaming goats. When the guy's sitting there talking and all of a sudden the goats start screaming out of nowhere. But as you can imagine, that's not the kind that's not the kind of thing that you want to hear in the middle of your video. So I go on Amazon and I'm like, this time I'm going to buy two or maybe even three of these microphones as backups in case it gets wet again. But when I went to go purchase it, it was out of stock and they may not even be making it anymore because I noticed that they have an update which is the SGC 600. So at first I was a little reluctant because I really wanted the SGC 598 which was a proven workhorse but I was like you know what it's only 36 bucks let me give it a shot and see how it is. So I placed my order and it got here pretty quick. Man, you gotta love them goats. All right, but all jokes aside, let's get serious now. Let's get into the review. So first I'm gonna tell you about a few features of the microphone, and then we're gonna test out the sound against the onboard mic that's on my camera. We'll test it out here in the studio, but we'll also go outside in my neighborhood so that we could test it in the real world where there's sounds of cars going by, children playing, and the hustle and bustle of the city. And if you hang around to the end of the video, then as a bonus, I'm gonna give you a few quick tips and hacks that are gonna make sure you get the most out of all your audio equipment. And I'll also let you know about a few simple and cheap accessories that you can get that are gonna level up your audio significantly. All right, so I've been using this SGC600 now for about two weeks. So here's my verdict. As far as comparing it to the previous model, the SGC598, I think this one sounds just as good. Some of the advantages are that it's a bit smaller, so it's not gonna take up as much space on top of your camera. It has a 10 decibel boost, but also it has 10 decibel reduction in case you find yourself in an extremely loud and challenging environment. As far as what it sounds like against the more expensive shotgun mics from Deity and Rode, Curtis Judd did a video comparing the sound of all three microphones, and his conclusion was pretty much that this microphone sounds just as good. And he has like a PhD in microphones or something like that, so you know it's legit. Oh, and by the way, if you've already subscribed to the channel, I appreciate that. If you haven't done so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any future content. If you're enjoying the video so far, hit that like button for me as it helps with the algorithm so more people can find the channel. All right, so now let's do a quick sound test against the onboard mic on my camera. The whole video so far has been recorded with the SGC600, so you're getting an idea of what the audio sounds like. I'm not gonna run any post-processing on it. I'm not gonna do any normalization or anything like that. That way you can see what it sounds like raw coming straight out of the microphone. Right now you're listening to the SGC 600 about two feet away from me, two and a half feet away from me. And now that's the onboard mic about two and a half to three feet away from me. All right, so I'm walking around on a busy street right now. I got kids over here playing to the left of me, people playing basketball. All right guys, and now for the bonus. What you have to understand is that the closer the microphone is to you, the better it's gonna sound. So what you wanna do wherever possible is actually boom your microphone. And what that means is that you place it just outside of the frame where it's about 12 inches away from you and you want it pointed at your chest. See, if you take a look right now, here's the microphone. You see, it's just, it's just barely out of frame. And as you can see, it's placed pretty close to me. Now, of course, when you're vlogging and you're holding the camera out like this and it's only about a feet to two feet away from you, then that's perfect. You can just walk around and keep the microphone on top of your camera. But outside of that situation, it's better that you boom it. So here's the first thing I would recommend is basically just a cheap boom stand. I don't remember what I paid for this one, but it couldn't have been more than 20 bucks. So as you can see, all it is is just an adjustable pole where you can change the height and change the angle so that you can boom the microphone properly. All right. And the next scenario is when you don't have a static shot like this, but when you have a shot that where you're walking around and moving around inside the frame, that case what you need to do 
you need to get a portable recorder. The one that I would recommend that I found is the best value for money is called the Tascam DR10L. It comes with a lavalier microphone. So what you would do is you would just put on the lav mic and then you would just put the recorder in your pocket. So it's gonna sound great no matter how far you are away from the camera. And the last little hack that I have for you is in a scenario where you wanna record two microphones. Let's say you're doing an interview or something like that, but you only have one input on your camera or on your portable recorder. And what you can do is you could buy this cheap little splitter off of Amazon. And what's gonna happen here is you're gonna plug one of your microphones into the right channel and the other microphone into the left channel. Then it combines them into one plug. Then what's gonna happen in post is you're gonna have the right channel from one microphone and the left channel from the other microphone. From there what you do is you take each of those audio channels and make them into stereo left and right and then boom. You've recorded your interview. You have both people talking on separate channels, so you have control over each conversation. They each have a right and a left channel, and it's as if you had two separate recorders, but you didn't have to spend the money on buying the extra recorder. So all the different products that I've talked about, there's links for them in the description below. So until next time, peace.